All right, everybody, there's this little tiny city in the southwestern part of the Portland metro area that was just ranked one of the best places to retire in the country. So we're gonna check it out in this video. All that starts now. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paul Clem with the Home Team Brokers coming to you from King City, Oregon today. King City is a little incorporated community in Washington County, basically connected to Tigard on the south side of Tigard, just at the foot of Bull Mountain, and about as far south uh, in Tigard as you can get on your way to Sherwood on Highway 99. I've often referred to King City in some of these videos as an unincorporated area of Washington County. My mistake, it actually is its own incorporated city uh, with a mayor and uh, city council and its own uh, police department, all that good stuff. So you have a lot of local infrastructure here in this little kind of micro community of 5,500 people. and. King City has primarily been associated with its 55 plus community right on the golf course in the heart of King City. So there's about 1200 housing units dedicated to 55 and older uh, living. And you know, by far the biggest that you can find in the Portland metro area. This area was just ranked one of the best places in the country to retire. And there, there's a lot of reasons why that's not necessarily a surprise. Uh, you know, I think there's a ton of areas around the country that offer 55 plus living, not a ton necessarily in the Portland metro area, at least like you get in King City. So, we're going to talk about in this video some of the reasons why this is a great place to retire, but also some of the reasons why you don't necessarily have to be retiring to move here or if you're relocating to the Portland metro area maybe you want to move to a Beaverton or to Portland proper but maybe your parents are following you King City might be a good place to land now if this is your first time to the channel or you've been here and you haven't already and you want to get more videos like this make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video all right so i'm here today at the king city community park right uh kind of on the edge of king city near the tualatin river a beautiful october day yes it's fall it's not always rainy it's not always gloomy although that's gonna start becoming more and more consistent here pretty soon. Uh, so gotta take advantage of getting outside as much as I can while I can. Uh, and again, in this video, talking about King City, you know, this just got ranked one of the best places in the country to retire. So this isn't an area that we've talked too much about. We've talked about adjacent areas and neighboring communities and, and suburbs and cities to King City. And you know, this is a small area that again, has often really been associated just with Tigard specifically. So I think a a lot of people you know if you say if you live in King City you know that just kind of to most people says Tigard because you're on the you're on this kind of the southernmost southwesternmost part of Tigard itself bordering Tigard now actually Bull Mountain just to the north also a Tigard address and by and large considered to be Tigard that is unincorporated Washington County really nice big area big luxurious homes you know Bull Mountain is definitely one of the more sought after suburbs or neighborhoods in all of the Portland metro area so sitting just at the foot of that is King City right on Highway 99 and the area itself really dense so there I mean there's going to be some vacant lots and maybe pockets here and there where they could still do some building and some developing. I think there's actually plans uh, for a new community being built in King City. But most of it, you know, again, really pretty small, 5,500 people. It's really pretty dense already. So you drive around the 55 plus community specifically, you know, these are all going to be single level uh, typically about 1,200 to maybe 1,700 square feet, two or three bedrooms, small lots, but, you know, low maintenance, easy maintenance, right? And uh, get all those single level homes, like so many people, you know, nearing retirement age or who have uh, retired are looking for. So checks a lot of boxes in that way. You have the golf course uh, right in the middle of the community. So the golf course is lined with homes. Not every home in the community is on the golf course, but uh, you know, a, a great place to go walk around. You know, you have that green space and you have that nature around you. There's also a clubhouse, there's activities, there's things that you can get involved in, like a lot of 55 plus communities have to offer. So honestly, I don't have a ton of experience with 55 plus, plus communities when comparing them to other parts of the country and what's going to be offered. I mean, you think of like the villages in Florida, for example, um, this is not, this is not going to be the villages for sure. But if you want something that is a little quieter, a little more laid back, 
certainly affordable. I mean, when, when you look at this area compared to what you get elsewhere in the Portland metro area, you know, kind of side by side, definitely some relative affordability here. A lot of these properties, you know, are gonna be, you know, 390 to maybe 550, something like that, 100,000. Uh, so again, relative to what you get elsewhere throughout the Portland metro area, um, again, some relative affordability there. But I think this area overall is going to offer quite a bit for folks looking for that 55 plus community experience. Again, it's going to be probably a little bit smaller uh, than what you can get elsewhere. You know, you're surrounded by suburbs in the Portland metro area. You're only about 12 miles or so. Uh, from downtown Portland and so you you could get up into Portland in 20 minutes It could be 30 plus minutes depending on traffic. In fact highway 99 right there can get really pretty backed up uh, With so much traffic lights so you can get all the way up 99 hit i5 and then get into Portland that way Still pretty accessible overall um, There are a lot of shopping malls around here Tigard in particular, you know Washington Square Mall is at the north side of Tigard and then Bridgeport Village is kind of on the south and east side of Tigard. So, be, you know, really great shopping if you like to get out, do some shopping. Um, ton of grocery stores, not necessarily in King City, but in Tigard in particular on Highway 99. Um, mechanics, movie theaters, all the stuff that you would want to do and need in your day-to-day -day life, access to healthcare, etc. I mean, again, you're right in this major metro area with so much at arm's length surrounding King City itself. Now, again, pretty dense area, but really pretty quiet, very peaceful, like most of Portland and the Northwest has that aesthetic, uh, you know, as far as the nature. Um, you can see I'm, you know, I'm in this open field uh, at the park here. You know, there's trees all around. Um, there's a lot of different tree species too. So a lot of this area, you get a lot of the Douglas firs and pine trees, but you have a lot of deciduous trees around here too. You're near the Tualatin River. So, you know, when you get close to those river banks, typically uh, you get uh, kind of, you know, a good variety of, of tree species. It's October, right? So we're starting to see uh, some of the leaves change colors. Uh, some of that right there, which is which is really cool. Definitely one of the best parts of the country during the fall for sure, uh, when it comes to the leaves changing and all of that. So I think King City overall is is definitely going to have a lot to offer for folks in Portland, in Oregon, or people relocating to this area who are nearing retirement or are 55 plus and looking for this type of community. Again, there's not really gonna be that many options around Portland, especially like this, you know, that offer the same dynamic. Areas like Charbonneau come to mind, that's a little more removed, a little more away from the metro area, you know, maybe another 20 minutes down the road, basically. So it's not like this is the only option necessarily, uh, but, a great option nonetheless and again i mean this was just ranked one of the best places i think it was number four on the list to retire in the country so i mean that's not for nothing right now if you look at all of king city in its entirety it's not all 55 plus so there are some areas and i'll show you know as as i'm uh, blabbing on here some of the other areas some of the other parts of the community that aren't 55 plus will be very distinguishable what is and what isn't again i think a lot of density here so you're not going to come in here and find too many opportunities with lots that are bigger than like maybe 7500 square feet uh, in fact a lot of the lots are going to be under that and like you know unlike a lot of the the metro area and a lot of suburbs especially suburbs that have older developments uh, you know, you, you can get in a lot of areas around Portland, quarter acre, third acre lots. I mean, you know, somewhat easily if you're holding out for something like that, it's there, but it's not going to be here in King City. Now you are buried a little bit in this part of the metro area. I alluded to that being down Highway 99 and Highway 99 can get pretty congested, pretty bottlenecked. But from here, from King City, you get on Highway 99 and go south, southwest, you get out to Highway 18, you can go straight out to Lincoln City. So you can get to the Oregon coast pretty quickly. I mean, like an hour and 15 minutes from here, depending on how fast you're driving. Uh, so the Oregon coast is very accessible. And if you wanted to get out to the mountain too, if you wanted to get east, get out to Mount Hood, some of the hiking trails and all the good stuff uh, out that way, you can get down to uh, Interstate 205 and then, you know, kind of make your way east out to the mountain still pretty easily from here. So, 
A lot of the west side, it becomes a little bit harder to get east and go to the mountain, but you're far enough south here where you can kind of bypass a lot of the metro area. Either way, being here in King City, you're gonna be able to access a lot of the great things you know, in the region, kind of around Portland, again, the coast and the mountain in particular, also wine country. I mean, access, you know, to a lot of really great wineries and vineyards, you know, probably within 20 minutes of King City, you can get to probably at least a couple dozen, you know, beautiful properties with, again, vineyard, wine tasting room, join a wine club if you like, or several, a lot of people do that. Uh, so again, no surprise that this is ranked one of the best places in the country to retire. And if you are thinking about moving to Portland, if you're in the area currently, if you're nearing retirement, if you're looking for a 55 plus community, or if you wanna talk about communities that offer a similar experience, but not necessarily designated 55 plus, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video and schedule a Zoom call with us. And on that call, we can talk about your budget, your timeline, your priorities, what you're looking for, and really put together a game plan for you. So. When the time comes, we can hit the ground running. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. If you wanna get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.